Oh, hello. This is Tak Chong from Walk with Tak. In my cooking classes, the students often ask me many questions about the walk. Most of the time, I don't have enough time to answer them thoroughly. So I took those questions and make them into videos to be included in this walk module. One question that is almost asked at all my cooking classes by the students is what walk I would recommend for them to buy. Uh, this is actually a difficult question to answer, but I have made a video uh, to provide recommendations of two walks that a student uh, can choose to buy. Uh, another frequently asked question uh, in my cooking classes is a student who said, uh, I have a wok with a non-stick coating. Uh, should I keep it or should I replace it with a wok without non-stick coating? Uh, to explain this, I create a video to explain why a uh, wok with non-stick coating does not work and why carbon steel wok and uh, cast iron wok uh, with natural surfaces work much better. Uh, another frequently asked question by the student is uh, how does uh, seasoning actually work and why uh, cast iron wok and uh, carbon steel wok could be seasoned whereas stainless steel or aluminum cookware are almost impossible to season. So I created a video to explain that. Uh, in my cooking class, students often ask me, uh, why did you choose a 14-inch wok uh, versus a uh, wok of other sizes? Now, actually, this is an important question. And so I create a video to explain why certain size of the wok works better than other sizes. Uh, another frequently asked uh, question during my cooking class is that what kind of utensil should I use uh, for stirring during stir fry? And I uh, explain to them about the significance of a wok spatula and how you can use the wok spatula for many different uh, tasks. So I create a video to provide more information. Uh, how to clean the wok is also uh, a frequently asked question. A student will say, do you clean the wok with detergent or not? Or how did you clean the wok if you have residue burned onto the surface of the wok? So I created a video specifically to address this question. Uh, another frequently asked question in my cooking class is that, uh, what kind of a stove would be good for uh, stir fry with the wok? Uh, I have an electric flat top stove. Uh, would that work? Uh, or I have an uh, induction stove. Uh, would it work for stir fry? And so I created a, a video to address this question as well. Uh, in the recent years, um, cast iron cookware has become more popular. It's make a comeback. So students will ask me, uh, shall I buy a cast iron wok? Uh, would it work better than carbon steel wok? And what's the difference between a cast iron wok and a light cast iron wok? So I created a video to address this particular issue. Uh, I have created all these videos as uh, standalone videos, so you do not have to watch them in any particular sequence. Uh, you can watch it you know, of whatever one that might interest you, and you can always go back to watch the other one later. I try to make the video relatively short. They are between 3 to 4 minutes in length, so uh, for all 7 videos, you can watch all of them in less than half an hour. Uh, I encourage you to uh, take the time to uh, take a look at all of them because it will help you to understand the wok better and that make the stir fry more efficient and effective for you.